uh, I created the Nano SRT, which is now the Bioscan SRT, which I brought to uh, BioMeridian, now IHT, and uh, their equipment is absolutely phenomenal, and that's why I'm here tonight. Uh, I was hearing from a lot of doctors that the SRT doesn't work in my practice. I think it's a great machine. I hear a lot of doctors getting great success, but I'm not. And I hear about a lot of people, well, I've got a great machine. I can get great results, but why can't I get anybody on it? Or I have a great machine. I get great results. I can get people on it, but I don't charge for it. Now, as you know, the SRT is a cash-based system. We cannot bill the insurance company for the SRT. So I needed to make this as simplistic as nature for me as not one of the most affluent clinicians out there. I needed to make it easy to market, easy to communicate, and again, easy to make money. And that's how this was designed way, way back, almost going on now 11 years ago when we started out with our first nano systems. So I want to walk you through the steps in my brand new practice called My Body Works, and then I want to show you how you can actually start to personally work with me and do exactly what I'm doing within my practice. And, you know, it's kind of funny. Uh, we've got a lot of practitioners on tonight, and today was my best day in practice. So I, I stepped down February 1st. We opened up My Body Works in February. Didn't really see our first patient until March. So I'm now going on month three in my practice, and uh, the week before Memorial Day, I saw 65, actually, I'm sorry, 62 visits just on the SRT, because what is the Bioscan SRT? It's a stress reduction testing device, and we are so fortunate. I don't know if anybody realizes how fortunate we are to have these devices. Uh, Jackie over at IHT, um, she hears it. And I think she would love to hear it a lot more from all of us when you get great results. And I'm going to share some of the incredible results that I've had just over the last three months, basically, with the system. But once in a while, please let her know how amazing this machine is and how many lives you're changing. Because they're in the day-to-day -day operations over at corporate, but they don't get to hear from practitioners a lot of times on the good. It's always about the bad. Uh, and, and, and I think it would be really beneficial to tell her about some of the great results that that we're getting. And that's why I'm so excited tonight, because the results that I've been getting in my practice are absolutely incredible. Life-changing results by using the SRT. And, and that's why I got back into this. You know, I've been very fortunate to help so many doctors around the country and the world getting SRTs and getting up and running. But I wanted to come down to the clinical level, like everybody else, and really get back into it. So we're a stress reduction clinic. We're allowing the body to work by reducing the stress on the spine and the nervous system, by decreasing the stress through the Bioscan SRT and letting the body heal itself. And then what about all those patients that are overweight or their stomachs aren't working or their guts are not healed or they have eczema or psoriasis? We can now help them through a cleanse program as well. And they all feed together. So if you go to my website, My Body Works, and you'll see on there we're a stress reduction clinic featuring all three. So we opened in March. We're expected to see probably about 85 visits this week. Uh, and again, we just opened three months ago. We'll be well through 100 visits by the end of June. And uh, my goal is once the summer ends to be over 200, vi 200 visits a week just in September. And I did that from scratch. Now, a lot of you have existing practices. And if you let me help you in your existing practice, it is incredible what we'll be able to do. Because I haven't practiced in eight years. This is brand new. I didn't have any patients. And I went out to just my friends in the area, and I told them, I have this incredible device, and I have to get you on it because of what I can do. And I'll go through some of that communication. So we opened up. We didn't do any marketing, as you see, number two, because I didn't have any patients. How could I market? My communication is what got my people into my practice. But also, we offered a service that nobody else has anywhere in my vicinity, and I'm getting paid every day now on new patients coming in my office for the SRT, and they're paying me $800 because I charge $100 a visit. I believe that anywhere you are in this country, you should be charging $100 a visit for the SRT, hands down. And actually, we've just increased it to 125 on some new visits coming in. And we have a device that can change people's lives. And if you don't think that, you have to change your mentality towards it as well. 
because if you think you're changing people's lives, I think it's worth $100 a visit. Now, what I'm trying to do right now is, and I'll show you this, I'm trying to see two patients per hour. I can go more than that, but I'm trying to see two patients per hour. The SRT was designed to be very simplistic in nature, and I think a lot of us overthink it, and that's the major issue here. Like I said, I am not an incredible clinician when it comes to all the different things that everybody does out there. I'm a very good adjuster. I'm phenomenal at using the SRT the way it was designed, and I'm a great communicator. And that's how you get patients to go through the process. So I'm going to walk you through clinically how I help the patients as well because it is so simplistic. If you follow our protocols all the way through, you're going to get amazing results. My clinic opened up March 2016, like I said. I started with zero patients. I invited friends and family into my practice, and all I did was tell them, I can reduce the stress on your body. And by reducing the stress, I can really help your body function properly. And I said, if you give your body a chance, your body will work. Hence our name, My Body Works. You just have to reduce the stress to it. So that's our big focal point. We're a stress reduction clinic. And, and as you see below, we practice chiropractic. We are a health spa, and I'll get into that. You know what I say? I send a signal into your body, and the signal bounces back, and I time that speed. And that speed correlates to anything on the known planet. Pollen, mold, mildew, dog, cat, wheat, sugar. We have over 50,000 possibilities built into the system. Once I identify what that, what that uh, signal is or what that item is, I resend it back into the body, and I change the immune response by using a laser to rechange the immune response to perceive whatever that item is as good as opposed to bad. So this is important now. The next step for communication on the SRT. We have the 100-point wellness check. That was designed for you to get somebody interested in the system. The 100-point wellness check and the biofeedback stressors, what that is designed to do, it's a 12 to 15-minute test that every single person that comes in your office, let me say that again, every single person that comes in your office needs to get on the 100-point wellness check. It's no option in my office. Everybody gets on it, no matter who they are. And I started the first two months, I gave it free to everybody. That's how it was designed. Now I'm charging $50 to everybody, and it's not even an option. Everybody pays $50 to get scanned in 12 to 15 minutes to get a full stress test. So she brought in her 3-year-old and her 5-year-old daughter. They both got scanned. I found out that pesticides were the issue on both, right? And I'm sure a lot of you witnessed that. In the first three visits, they came in. By the way, she bought care plans on both her daughters. This is the same day. What happened was she came in in the morning for the body wrap. That afternoon, she brought in her 3-year-old and her 5-year-old. They both got scanned. She paid for care plans. I figured out she needed $2,200 worth of visits for her two daughters. And she paid that afternoon. I split it into two payments. She paid $1,100, and $1,100 was 30 days later. And then three visits later, Ironically, I got her two daughters better. I got lucky. Usually it takes a few more visits, and we're going to talk about that, but I just got the pesticide that was affecting her daughters, and the eczema went away. She was blown away, and she said, you know what? My husband is allergic to everything. Can you help him? Absolutely. Bring him in. I'll scan him for free. I did, and he just paid $2,400. This is about a month ago. Paid $2,400 for himself to come in and get on the SRT. Today, the husband says, you know what? I think it's time I need to do a cleanse. I was 50 pounds overweight, and I'm just not feeling right, and we've had some issues. Here's where the clinical part of the communication part of the SRT come in. He's positive on everything. He's also extremely dehydrated. You may get patients like this where the patient comes in, and you just can't get a reading on them, right? Your energy level is below 20, and I have forced him to drink every type of water. I've rehydrated him. I've done everything, and I can't get his energy level above 20, but you know what? When I got a good test on him, I noticed he had candida. Candida is a blocking in the body. And I noticed that candida causes interstitial fluid issues. Now, what do I mean by that? It means he can't rehydrate himself. So how am I going to get a good testing on the SRT to get him fully better? So what I did today was I signed him and his wife, because I found out his wife was in the Army and wants to clean her body out. They both 
want to now do cleanses with me. So they paid half of it today for cleansing. They're going to pay the other half 30 days from now because they've already spent $4,500 in cash already, and they're both going to do five-week candida cleanses, which is something we do in the office, which we charge $2,900 for. So the marketing process. The marketing process is how do I get new patients into the office? How do I get them on a testing device? Once they've been tested, how do I close them into a care plan? How do I keep them coming back to finish their care plan? And then how do I get them to refer to bring in their families? Well, the marketing process is tremendous. And I'm just going to kind of wet your teeth. And I'm, hopefully I'm already doing that to see what you can do here. But the marketing process starts when you schedule an appointment. And when, they're, when we schedule an appointment, our staff is scripted out. Your staff needs to know what to say. And right on our computer screen is the staff scripts for everything we do in the practice. Now, my staff, I started a staff from scratch. My front desk girl, who's my tech, has only been in here now for three months. And I've got another staff member who now does marketing for us to help us really blow this practice out really quickly. And I have another staff member coming on board shortly. So when we schedule an appointment, the staff knows exactly what to say. When they come in the waiting room, the patient reads the information on the technology for the visit. So if they're coming in for a body wrap or weight loss, they read that information. If they're coming in for the SRT, they read a brochure we designed on the SRT, and it's simplistic in nature. And they read about it before they come back. Then we walk them through the office, and we explain to them everything we do in the practice. So we explain, in this room we do this, in this room we do that, in this room we do that, because I want them to know everything we do. And my stress reduction talk goes through everything we just talked about, decreasing the nervous system, I'm sorry, decreasing the pressure on the nervous system, increasing spinal posture, decreasing the stress to the spine and the body from the BioScan SRT, and in, or decreasing the weight, cleaning out the gut, because we're becoming a gut clinic. A lot of you don't get results on the SRT because there may be gut issues as well. Now, let me tell you this story. And I, by the way, these are all stories in the last three months. I have, we just counted today. We just opened three months ago, and we have 92 new patients in the first three months. A lot of you don't get that all year. We got 92 new patients in the first three months. And this one patient, uh, she's the deacon's wife at the church we go to. And when I was going to church, I noticed that her hands had psoriasis all over it, and she showed me her hands. She has bleeding psoriasis, or she did, I should say, bleeding psoriasis from her wrist down and her ankles down. And I mean, I felt so bad for her. She said, anytime I do anything, I have to wear gloves. I can't even wear socks on my feet most of the time because the socks irritate them. And I've had this now going on for almost four and a half years. And, and, and she was about 40 pounds overweight, by the way, as well. I convinced her to come into the office, and I got her on the BioScan. I brought her on the SRT, and I realized that her gut was destroyed. I looked further into it, and she explained to me that she was drinking tap water. I, couldn't, I didn't know anybody drank tap water anymore. She was drinking tap water. Her gut was destroyed. Pesticides were showing up tremendously on the 100-point wellness check, and I realized I needed to do two things. I needed to clean her gut, and I needed to go on the BioScan immediately. Now. Over the first five weeks, her hands are completely healed. The psoriasis is 100% gone. We cleansed out her body through in, uh, using Solutions 4, going through a food diary every single day with the patient, being their health coach every single week and meeting with them, providing them the proper supplementation to clean out the liver, the gut, the colon, and the rest of their body, getting them on the SRT twice a week. I haven't started chiropractic care yet, by the way. In the first five weeks, she lost 22 pounds. Her hands were totally clean of psoriasis. Her ankles were 70% better. That was by week five. Her husband lost 30 pounds in that same five-week process, and I changed their lives. He stopped his blood pressure medication the day before he started the cleanse. Now I treat the whole family. They have three daughters. All three daughters come to me for chiropractic care, and the Two of them, the deacon now is fine. He lost all the weight. He's just watching what he eats. He's in great health, but he comes in chiropractically twice a week because he has a lordotic curve. And she's coming in for another cleanse program. She paid me another $2,900 and is going through another five weeks to clean out her gut. But the point is the combination of the SRT, getting rid of the pesticides, 
working on the skin, getting rid of the household cleaners, the toxins all throughout her body, cleaning the gut, she will be 100% free over the next two weeks of psoriasis that debilitated her life. And that was a combination of the SRT. So really, when somebody comes in, if you educate them and you do these processes right, they're going to tell friends and family. And now the actual pastor at my church, uh, the priest, I'm sorry, is now coming in. He's starting next week, and he's basically going to make an announcement to the whole church that I changed the deacon and the deacon's wife's life, and now I'm going to become the doctor of the church. I mean, this is so important, guys, on getting these results with patients. Now, I'm going to go a little bit faster through the marketing aspect. So at the health talk, we walk through people through the technology and how it helps. After the talks, the practitioners go through test results with the patient, and our financial people come in and close the care plans. So that's important. And it's important to just get spouses to see the results. If you get a spouse to a result, you just heard, I just told you two stories, and I got both spouses in, and now I have their whole families coming to visit me. This is really important. After the balancing, the first few visits, I call the patient back at the end of the night. Every new patient, at the end of the night, I have on my desk that patient's information, and at 9 o'clock every night, I call and then I text if I can't get a hold of them, and I want to find out how they're doing after the results. Now, I let them know during the day their body is going to feel a little bit different. There may be a change. It may be positive. It may be negative. But I walk them through it, and every night, no matter what the new patient is, I call them back and to see how they're doing. That is the most incredible tip I think you can offer to any of your patients. This is how the SRT was designed. This is how I designed it with the help of all the manufacturers, and especially IHT, because I wanted this simplistic in nature. You guys are overthinking this way too much. You are so intelligent clinically but this was not developed as an intelligent, clinic, intelligently clinical device at the beginning, because I wasn't. Now, you can take it much further than I have. A lot of you have. However, this is how I'm doing it right now. I get a patient in, and I explain to them, we all have stress, right? And there's many, many kinds of stress. It's biological, chemical, emotional, or physical. Then I explain to them different ways that they can get stress. Musculoskeletal disorders, frequent colds headaches and migraines, digestive issues, skin irritations. I could build a practice just off psoriasis and eczema. I now have eight patients that have gotten rid of 100% eczema, and I had a child that came in. It took me about four weeks, but I get rid of his psoriasis that he's had for 10 years on his elbows. I have patients that had eczema for three to four years, gone. I have one patient, if you look on my Facebook page, 10 years I had eczema, gone. We've been helping patients with depression, anxiety, sleep disorders, dependencies, uh, arthritis, allergies, and more. So stress causes a lot of problems, and the SRT will decrease the stress to the body. That's all we're looking to do. So what does the BioScan SRT do? It identifies the substances that are causing stress, and then you balance those stressors. Really, really simple. That's all I tell every single patient. How does it work? I don't even say it this, this, this well. I don't say it's based upon bioelectrical, bioresonance principles. I basically just say, like I taught you guys already, everything has a signal out there. I'm going to send a signal into your body. It's going to bounce back. I'm going to time that speed. That speed correlates to corn, sugar, dog, cat, uh, sinusitis. Once I identify it, I resend it back into the body through an antenna, which is the focus that, that's clipping on your neck, and I'm going to change the immune response towards those items. And they all get it. Now, this is something different than I've taught in the past, and that's why I went back into practicing. And when the 100-point wellness check comes up, I sit with them and I explain to them what they're looking at. So I explain to them, today I'm looking for families of stressors that are affecting your body. A family is a large grouping. On the right-hand side of the screen here, you're going to see those families come up. And I say negative 20 to positive 20 is a balanced condition. That family is working properly, and the body is not stressed out towards that family. But if that family goes above 20 with a positive number, that's something that's been going on over the last few days. If there's a negative number, it's something that's been going on for possibly up to your whole entire life. And then I explain the things that they understand. I explain to them that your body is like a tree stump. And I say, have you ever cut a tree down or looked at a tree? And if you have, when you look at that tree, and you see all those layers around the tree, you can see the different time periods of their life. 
That's what the SRT is doing. When we send the signal into the body and it bounces back, it's bouncing off those stress layers. And those stress layers are showing up on the screen. So if there's a negative number, that's something that happened for a long, long time. And they get it, right? Really, really simple. I talk to them like their family and friends would talk to them, not like a doctor would. And that's really, really important. I explain to them the balancing. The balancing, now I use the laser. Some of you can't. Some of you use acupuncture and other different ways. Some of you use tapping. I use the laser that comes with the SRT, and I've been getting phenomenal results. And I use it, and I explain to them that I'm going to now resend the signals back into your body. At the same time, I'm going to take the laser from the front of your head over your spine. And I'm going to do it four times, but twice each time, with your eyes open, eyes closed, a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Then I'm going to hold it over your ears, and I'm going to go over the auricular points on the ears. And I say, a lot of the points that I'm taking that laser over, it's very similar to acupuncture. With acupuncture, you're putting a needle in to relax or calm down a certain meridian or an organ system within the body. Well, I'm using the laser in the same exact way. I want to calm down the stress affecting the body, and the body heals itself. But the difference is with the SRT, at the same time I'm using the laser to calm down the points, and then, of course, I'm holding it over the other points on the hand, the forearm, on the foot. But at the same time I'm holding the laser over those points, I'm reintroducing you to, let's just say, dairy is your issue. Issue. I resend dairy back into the body. I take the laser over the meridian points. I'm changing the immune response towards dairy. And what's happening is you can then go back out and eat dairy again. Because your body now, and this is exactly how I say it, your body will look at dairy as good as opposed to bad. And I say that to every single patient. I mean, I've got three little kids. I've got an 11-year-old, a 10-year-old, and a 6-year-old. I talk to them, my patients, the same way I speak with my kids on the SRT and they get it. They really, really get it. And then when they bring their kids into me, I think out of the 90 or so patients we have, I'm going to say probably about 40 of them are kids. So here's something I did, by the way, thinking ahead of time before I was going to open up my practice. I volunteered on the wellness committee at the school that my kids go to, and I've been effectively helping them change the school lunch program. I think that was the best thing I ever did because I have all the moms on the wellness committee with me. I'm now affecting the change of all the kids and my kids as well because I'm tired of making lunches in the morning. Truthfully, I help my wife out. I'm tired of packing lunches. I want to make the lunches good and clean and organic for the kids. And I'm helping them understand what we do in the clinic as well. And I've gotten so many people by volunteering on the wellness committee, which is one hour of my month, I'm sorry, one hour a month, that I volunteer with, I've gotten so many kids into my practice. In the afternoons, I have more kids than adults coming in after school, getting on the SRT, getting adjusted, and then back to the laser on the SRT. So guys, you should be using the SRT on kids and adults. Now here's something, by the way, I did see a question that somebody posed to me through a lot of the questions that were sent over the last couple days, um, and we do surrogate testing for kids. So. I've been, been very fortunate to work with a lot of little kids so far. Uh, my youngest is one and a half. And what happens is the parents are holding the children. I'm actually putting the leads and the electrodes on the parents. The parent is holding the child. And then when I go ahead and treat it, I'm treating the child. So the laser is going over the child when I'm going ahead. The focus is going near the child because I don't want it on the child. I'm afraid it's going to break. But you scan the parent, and they're holding the baby but you treat the baby, if that makes sense. So I did see that as a question that you guys asked clinically. And we're getting incredible results on little kids from one and a half all the way up to I've got kids that are 18, which are not kids anymore. So that's how I explain it to everybody. Now, this is the most important thing that you guys can do. The SRT was designed to be a standard of care. Every single person that comes in my office, whether it's for a body wrap, whether it's for a cleanse, whether it's for chiropractic care, Every single patient goes on the SRT. This should be done on everybody like anything else you do in your practice. And at the beginning, scan them for free. I did. Now I'm charging for the scan, and then I'm charging for the treatment thereafter or the balancing. But at the beginning, guys, if you need more patients on it, do it for free. That's how it was designed. Now why? Everyone has stress, right? So use the 100-point wellness check and the biofeedback stressors. It was designed that way. Well, how do you understand how many visits that they're going to need? This is really, really important. Scan them. 
do a 100-point wellness check, and then how many families of stressors do you have on that 100-point wellness check? So you have to count how many families. Now, I know I can treat or balance three or four families per visit. So if I have a patient that comes in, I take them through the protocol. A lot of you may or may not know this. The SRT was designed to have six main visits. And if you don't know those, please go back and watch the videos on bioscangathering.com. There's six main visits. Day one is go through total tincture. Scan the body and see what comes up. Now, everything that comes up is a family. If I have 20 families, then I'm going to guesstimate I can do three per visit. So I can do roughly six visits, plus the initial six visits. Today is one already, so now I have 12 visits for that patient. Basically, I also know that when I get to the next set of visits, which will be in mother tincture and scanning the whole body again, I typically get half or less. So I'm going to now think I'm going to get about three additional visits. So now I'm up to six for the original care plan, six for uh, the main scanning that I just did in total tincture. That's 12. Three more for mother tincture. That's 15. And then I'm going to have more visits that come up for my sensitivities. And then I'm going to get them more for my uh, antigen groups, right, which is part of your protocols. So I'm going to guesstimate that this patient's going to need about 20 visits. And I let them know, give or take, it's going to be about 20 visits because they all want to know how many visits. And I tell them, you know what, it's going to be $2,000. However, you may need a couple more visits. If you do, I'm not going to charge you for those. But you have to pay up front. So it's going to be $2,000 today. How would you like to pay for it? And they'll come up to the front desk. Now, once I tell them how much it is, by the way, I'm done. I get out of there because you guys are going to give it to them for free. You can't. I tell my front desk it's $2,000, and I walk away, and I'm done, and she charges them because she knows if she doesn't, she doesn't have a job. So practitioners, tell them how many visits, tell them your visit amount, get them to the front desk. Now, if she says, hey, they can't afford it or whatever, and they may tell me that in the room, I'll split it up into payments. I'll do two months or three months. But I also let them know, I'm not going to give you the extra visits if you're not paying up front for those or do two or three months. And that's how I get them into the care plans. And here's the thing. If you commit them to care, they're going to get better. However, if you don't commit them to care, they will not come back. They will not get better. Now, here's the crazier aspect of the whole thing, and I told this to Jack Epter the other night, and, and I thought I was going nuts, and you guys are going to think this too. I've gotten every single patient better that's come in my office so far. I am at 100%. I know it's not going to continue, but I'm at 100%, and here's why. I'm committing them all to care plans. I may go three, four, five visits extra after I charge them, but this is the best clinical pearl I can give you right now, and Jack shared this with me. Clean everything out that you find. Don't do the top two most severe, the bottom two most severe. Clean every single one out and follow the protocol that we have set up. Go into total tincture, clear every family. Go into mother tincture, clear every family. Go into the antigens, clear every family. Go into the sensitivity groups, clear every family, and do it in multi-tincture, mother tincture, and total tincture, and antigens and sensitivities. If you do that, you should get an incredible success rate. So I am not doing anything that this system wasn't designed to do. I'm not muscle testing. I'm not providing them nutrition. I'm not doing anything outside the box except what I just told you right now. And then another clinical pearl that I learned, that, and I learned this from Jack, is, and I'll share it with you because I'm sure he won't be upset about this one, is go into the info meridians on your total tincture 100-point scan and your mother tincture total point scan. And I've done just that, and every single patient has gotten better so far. And that's it. I have not even done any homeopathies at all. You can do that to make it better. I haven't done it. I'm not even that intelligent, and I don't even have the time right now to make homeopathies for my patient. However, if you listen to what I'm saying on the SRT, there is no way possible you will not be successful. And if you do exactly what I'm saying and you're not getting results, there's something wrong with what you're doing in the room you're doing it in or the system has an issue. Now, I'm going to say this on the system having an issue because I hear this from a lot of people. My system's scanning the same numbers over and over again. So what? It's supposed to do that. If every number, if you get 10 numbers in a row that are the same, so what? 
The body changes for a reason. Leave it alone. If you know your system is working right, you're not with Frank every day or there's a problem, and, and you know your system is working right, I may get 20 of the same numbers in a row, and I don't ever question the system. As long as I know I'm getting an accurate test, my system's working. I never question it. And you know what? I've gotten 100% success so far. And if a patient asks me, because I know a lot of you ask this, why am I getting 20 numbers in a row? I said, that's your body's energy level. And you know what? I look them right in the eye and say it, and they don't say anything back to me at all. Now, I've only been doing this for three months. I'm sure somebody will. I have not had one person question me at all because I'm their doctor and I know how the system works. And I also tell them at the beginning when they come in, by the way, I let everybody know this is a class two medical device. I let them know we have thousands of practitioners around the world using these devices. Only practitioners use these devices. So I also say that from the beginning. I forgot to say that. So if you get the same number in a row, who cares? It doesn't matter. Disregard it. The system does the job it needs to do. A lot of you guys question it, and you never go through the whole test. So please, throw that out. Let the system do its job. It is right. I have never seen a tool this accurate. It is absolutely incredible what the system brings up on the patients. If you let it, a lot of you stop it before it finishes, or you question it, or you say, you know what? I'm not getting a great energy level. So for me, I know if I get below 20 on my energy, I do have a problem. I have a hydration issue. Right? I know something's going on. I know now if I hydrate them and rehydrate them and they drink a lot of water, I have a major issue with them healthy. It's not the system. The system's fine because the next person I put on, the energy levels go well. So stop blaming the system on that. It's the patient. A lot of you guys have the answers in front of you, but you're blaming the system, not the patient. And I mean this in a good way. So I had that today with, a, with I told you, with a patient, and I figured out he has a major candida infestation in his body. So now I have him going through a five-week candida cleanse, and I'm making another $3,000, and I'm going to change his life. He's going to lose about 15 pounds. The candida will be gone. His energy levels will go up. I'll get better readings on the SRT because now the water will go into the cells, and now my SRT will get better results as well. That's how this whole thing is designed to work. Um, we've gone through all this, read the brochure before they get tested, make sample reports, keep it short and sweet, and here's what I'm telling you, don't get too technical. You guys are all smarter than I am. I don't even want to learn technical aspects of the SRT. There's no reason to do it. If you do exactly what I say, you will be absolutely successful because that's how it was designed to be used. How do I commit them to care? I told you already. Um, this is something I've changed, and I wanted to bring this up. I have changed this now, getting back into it clinically the last three months. So care plans, we talked about it. If they pay up front, they're going to get better. They're going to come back, right? How do I charge them? This is important. I charge them for all their visits on my estimation on day number one. If I go a little bit longer, then I give those to them for free. That's really, really important. But I'm charging $100 a visit, guys. And a lot of you say, well, they won't pay for it. I don't believe it. I have people that don't have money coming in my office. I have people that have plenty of money. They're all paying for it if you communicate properly. And here's my story. And this is how I've got across to doctors so well. A lot of you have heard portions of this story. And you guys have a story just like mine. And I tell this to every single patient now coming in my office. I said, you know what? My father passed away when I was 13. And I tell them the whole dairy issue and how we created the SRT. But my dad passed away when I was 13, and I didn't have a father, and he passed away from cancer. I promised my kids I am not going to get cancer. I cleanse my body out once a year, sometimes more than that based on the year. I go on my SRT twice a year. Now, I have my patients, by the way, come back every 90 days to get retested for one visit to do a blanket stress assessment on them, and I balance them, and they're on their way. Just like maintenance chiropractic, the SRT was designed for the patient to come back every 90 days. And in a few weeks, I'm going to have my first patients coming back again. Please do that. This is not a one-and-done type thing, just like chiropractic care is not a one-and-done. You have stress all day long. They need to come back every 90 days to your practice to have one visit and then clean them and get them on their way. But I tell them. I promise my three kids I'm not going to get cancer. I have to do everything I can, and I also promise them I'm going to do everything I can to prevent you guys from getting cancer because I want us both to be there for a long, long time. 
So we eat 100% organic at home. At home. When you go to restaurants, it's tough. You all know that. And I like to eat out once in a while, and it's not going to be organic. But at home, we have no pesticides in our house. We have nothing in my office, pesticides or toxic inhalants. My house has no pesticides on the property for the last six years. I was very lucky we, we purchased a house that they don't have any issues whatsoever with pesticides. So I tell the patient again, my father passed away. I'm going to do everything I can so my kids don't get cancer. You need to cleanse your bodies out. You need to get the pesticides, the toxins. You've got to get off the medicines and get them out of your body. You need to take them out of your skin. You need to get on the whole body vibration. Get in the infrared sauna. Get the body wraps once a week. Clean the inside of your body out. And then you've got to get on the SRT so we can balance your body for all these household cleaners and pesticides and toxins that are affecting your body. And you know what? Every single patient that's come in my door has gotten it. And I use the same passion. You guys hear I'm passionate. I've never been more excited than the last three months in all my years of practice because I'm changing people's lives. I've gotten rid of eczema, psoriasis. I just told you bleeding psoriasis, gut issues. We now have patients that have lost over 40 pounds in the first seven weeks on cleanse programs. 40 pounds. I've changed their lives. I've gotten people off of blood pressure medication that they did on their own. I had two patients that were pre-diabetic that are totally fine now, going through the SRT and the cleanse programs. I had three patients today alone, kids, that came in that could not eat wheat, that could not eat dairy, that can now go out and eat pizza like a normal kid. And here's the best one that I had. And this one I was in tears three weeks ago this past Monday. This is a really close friend of mine. And by the way, guys, how scary do you think it was to have everybody that we know, we've lived in the same area now for the last nine years, the same town, only my friends and their families have come in and their kids trusted me to come in on the SRT, right? So this is scary. This is make or break when I started from day number one. That's how much I believe in the SRT. And I had a patient come in, little Rhea. She is six years old. She's in my son's kindergarten class. And she's been hospitalized, I think it's over eight times, for an egg allergy and she's anaphylactic to eggs. Now, we cannot treat anaphylactic conditions. You guys know that. We're not legally allowed to do it. If you're a medical doctor, you may be, and we do have medical doctors on. I cannot treat anaphylactic. All I can do is balance the body and reduce the stress towards it. Anyway, she's been coming to me now for three months, and she's allergic to everything, and she's also on the autism spectrum. Her behavior is not normal. She's on the autism spectrum, and she's very allergic to everything. Anyway, she's been coming in for three months, and three weeks ago, her dad, who's a friend of mine, by accident, gave her egg pasta. Three months ago, before I started, right before she started with me, and she's been begging me to open for years, she was in the hospital for four days the last time she ate eggs by accident at a school party. So she ate egg pasta three weeks ago Monday, and guys, all she got was a stomach ache for the first time in her six-year-old life. Her mom called me up that Monday night at 11 o'clock. My phone was on Do Not Disturb, so I didn't pick it up. So she texted me, and I woke up in the morning, and she said, thank you so much. My daughter is alive right now. And I called her first thing in the morning, and I said, what do you mean? And she said, Rhea did not have an anaphylactic response to the egg pasta that my husband gave her by accident. Now, she, the husband had to sleep on the couch that night. She was really, really mad at him. But the most incredible thing was she now can go out and live a normal life. And all I did was use the SRT the way it was designed. I did nothing else. I balanced the body and reduced the stress to it. Nothing else. And I know now this girl's life is absolutely changed. And by the way, this is something that I absolutely do in my practice as well. Every single kid that goes on the SRT gets adjusted. Every single one. My kids included, and you guys can go to my Facebook page and see those are my family and my kids that are getting adjusted by me, and I show that to everybody as well. I want everybody to see that my family is no different from my patients. My wife is going through the body wraps. My kids are getting adjusted by me. That's on Facebook. I think you should show that to your friends and family as well and all your patients. So here's what I do, and a lot of you ask me, well, how to use the SRT with chiropractic? Here's what I do. They come in and they get scanned. After they get scanned, they get adjusted. After they get adjusted, I then laser them. So every single kid that comes in, including that one-and-a-half-year-old, gets adjusted by me. And it's a rule of thumb. I will not bring them on the SRT without it. You know why? You know how many kids I have that have sinusitis issues? Well, 
am I 100% positive the SRT is going to get rid of the sinusitis? Maybe, but also wouldn't it help if I'm working on their nervous system from the spine as well? So everybody gets adjusted, and then I convert all the parents over to get adjusted as well. So the combination again, guys, cleaning the gut, cleaning the body, getting them adjusted, getting them on the SRT, we are 100% successful. So I'm hoping you're seeing the whole pattern here. How do I get great clinical results? Let's go into that last aspect tonight. A lot of the things I've taught you already, this system was designed to scan them and balance everything that you find. And you know what's funny? Even if I get a muscle that shows up, but they came to me for sinusitis, I'm balancing the muscle. If they came to me for a food sensitivity and their uh, perineal muscles show up, I'm working on the perineal muscles. If it's a bicep that shows up, I'm doing it. Because you know why? You don't know where that stress is coming from in their body, so you balance everything. And I'm going to say it again. Day one, you scan them for total tincture. Clean all the families out through the course of care in total tincture. Then you go in, you go to mother tincture. Scan them through. Get all the mother tincture scans done and the families balanced out. Then go into your antigens. Go into mother tincture, total tincture, multi-tincture. Clean them all out. Then you go into your sensitivities and clean them all out. Mother tincture, total tincture, and uh, multi-tincture. Also, on day number one, go into the info meridians, and I do it again with mother tincture. And that's all I've done. That's it. And we're 100% successful. So again, I keep saying it for you to understand it. So a lot of you ask me all these really, really crazy clinical questions for a good way to help patients. I haven't done it yet, and we're getting all these different results. So sometimes, again, don't overthink it. Don't make up your own technique. I don't even believe you should be muscle testing with the SRT and trying different things. It wasn't designed that way. Now, maybe you're getting good results, and I implore you to do so. That's great. Those of you that are not, do it the way I'm telling you to do it, and you will get the same results I'm getting. How do you get better clinical results? Follow the protocol I just outlined for you. Don't overthink this and clear all the families and only do three to four families per visit. That is so, so, so important. Now, the other thing is, listen to the patient. This is one last clinical pearl. If the pa now, now, sometimes I don't listen to the patient. Let me say that as well. If they come in and they tell me that they can't pet a dog without getting a rash, right? Is it the dog? I've never seen them being the dog yet. To me, it's never the dog. It's the pesticide the dog's laying in the grass. It could be the grass. It could be the inorganic food the dog is eating. And that's typically what happens. It's never what you think it is. So I'm listening to the patient, and I'm going to treat or balance the patient for dog, but it's never the dog. It's something else. Go through the protocol. Clean everything out. Here's what a lot of you are doing. You're going right, right to dog, and you're balancing them for dog, and they don't get better, and they don't come back, right? So you've got to get them into a financial care plan, and you've got to go through all of the visits to clean them out. And I also, I'm very upfront with everybody. You may get results at the beginning, like on the three-year-old and the five-year-old girl. I got lucky. I got the right pesticide. I really got lucky, and it turned into be a blessing. However, you're not going to get lucky most of the time, and it may take you three weeks. On the boy that had psoriasis on his elbows, it took me over four weeks to get him better. But I tell the patients, this is not a miracle cure. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time. We have to balance the body, let the body heal itself, and it may take me every single visit until the last visit to get exactly what's going on. Now, you'll get results and feel better along the way, but I may not get that one specific thing until the end. However, I've gotten everyone better, so please keep that in mind. So I listen to them, but I'm doing what i got to do. I'm the practitioner, and I also may listen to them like this. If sinusitis is the issue, I may try and get them a little bit more relief based on the families that show up. So what do I mean by that? Well, if dog comes up, and pest it, well, and, and, and dairy comes up, not a good example. If dog comes up, and what else? If they have sinusitis, uh, and cat comes up, and trees come up. Well, I, need to, I know I have to clean out all of them, right? But on day number one, let me try and get the ones that they're complaining about most done first to get them a result first. I'm going to go through all of them, but let me listen to them and get those done first. Really, really important. And then the other biggest factor is, I sit next to them the whole time, and I'm going through the results. And every time a number over 100 jumps up, I'm like, whoa, and I look at it with them. And they're now all excited. I also did this. 
I don't have my system on a little bitty laptop that I can't see. I went out and I bought big 24-inch screens. You can go bigger than that. That was good for the way we have my office designed. I've got big screens, and they love seeing their results. I taught them what to look for, how to do it, and every visit they watch it, and they're in with their care. And I have not had one patient say, whoa, what is that? That doesn't make any sense. I'm not coming back because I'm sitting with them and I'm communicating all the way through. And I let them know your body is like an onion. We've got to clear out layers before we get down into the core items. So I've got to clear all this stuff out. Even though it doesn't make sense to you, I've got to clear it all out and then get down to the main items. And then the most important thing where a lot of you guys get numbers in a row, same numbers in a row. You're not getting results in the first few visits. You're getting frustrated. They're getting frustrated. Believe in the system. And you can hear it for the way I'm talking to you. No one believes in this more than I do. It's changed my life. I've seen it change thousands of people's lives. I've seen it change thousands of doctors' lives. You've got to believe in the system. And if for some reason you're doing everything 100% right, like I'm saying here, your room is good, the patients are coming in clean, then the last thing is have IHT look at the system. But don't do the reverse, which a lot of you are doing. It's not the system. I've only seen two go back as a problem. Sometimes there's glitches and, and software issues. I understand that. Most of the time, it's you, the practitioner. And that's